Hello internet world, welcome to my review of the Nacon Revolution X Pro Controller. This was very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer. No money's exchange hands, they haven't asked me to say anything in particular. I'm just going to share with you my opinion of using this over the past few weeks so you can make an informed buying decision. So let's get on with the review. So this is the Nacon Revolution X Pro Controller. It's designed for competition, it's programmable, also supports Dolby Atmos. It's designed also for Xbox. This will work with the Xbox One, Xbox Series X, for example. Really nice packaging. Some of the features listed on the side here. If you want to pause the video at any stage, you can feel free to do so. It comes with a three meter USB cable, uh, Dolby Atmos uh, access included. Headphones are required for that. Uh, and the back just shows some more of the features, including the control panel, so you can customize how the Revolution X controller will work in your setup. So let's get this unboxed, have a look inside. So of course we've got some instructions in here. I'm gonna guide you through getting everything up and running. And then we've got the controller itself, which comes in a really nice carry case. This is superb, I really do like this. Good quality, sort of semi-rigid carry case for it. Nacon branding on the top. And then when we open this up, we have got a dust uh, or duster, like a little polishing cloth. We've also got, of course, the controller itself. We'll take a closer look at that in a short while. We've also got this sort of netted area up the top here. And if I remove this, this has got the cable. So on one end of the cable, it is USB-C to go into the controller. And on the other end, it is USB-A, that's gonna go into your console. Now this isn't a wireless controller, so you can't charge it and use it wirelessly, it's a wired controller, but a really good quality braided cable. Then we've also got this here. This contains a selection of little weights. So the weights are presented really nicely, and you put this into the controller to give you more weight and you can customize the weight to your choosing. There's also some alternative uh, little thumbsticks as well included in here. So really nicely presented. Uh, you can remove and add weights. This one here, for example, is a 14 gram weight. So we've got a couple of 14s, a couple of 10s, a couple of 16s in a really nicely presented carry case. And of course, you can stick this back down if you choose. And then the controller itself it is just superb, a really nice controller. So we've of course got the USB-C connector there where that cable is gonna go in. We've got some uh, sort of really nice gradation to uh, a grippier finish to the plastic on here and then smooth on the top. The same sort of grip on this left thumbstick and then we've got a logo on this one. They just feel really nicely weighted, nice and responsive and progressive as well four-way D-pad, all the extra buttons you'd come to expect, and of course, Y, A, X, and B. So a really nicely presented controller. On the bottom there, headphones, and then when we turn round onto the back, you can see the additional buttons, and these are, of course, programmable. We've got a profile button here. We've got classic or advanced switch. We've got extra buttons underneath here and here. Uh, it sounds a little bit hollow when you click these, but if you've added the additional weights into the uh, sort of arms of the controller, if I can just remove this quickly, if you've added the extra weights in, that sort of hollowness sound actually sort of lessens. But really nice additional programmable controls on the underside. And then of course the triggers and the shoulder buttons, again, very, very clicky, nice bounce back on them. They feel just perfect, and, and these feel very progressive as well, the actual triggers. So the right and left triggers have got that really nice travel to them, excellent travel indeed, and then nice and clicky left and right buttons on the, the top here. Very, very nice controller. Uh, now, I've used this for a few games, mainly some driving games, and I found that these worked extremely well for control, and I was just very, really impressed. This is a great alternative to the official Microsoft controller. I think Nacon have done a fantastic job on this. It feels premium. The additional buttons are, well, they're just a very welcome addition because they make it a lot easier uh, for gameplay. And these thumbsticks 
are superb. Really impressed. This is the Nacon Revolution X. Now, if you want to pick up one of these for yourself, please do check out the links down in the video description area. And I've also left a link down there to the manufacturer's website. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video very, very soon.